All right, now the Islamic State has claimed responsibility for the suicide attack in Afghanistan that killed at least about 19 people, of which 17 are from the Sikh community. Now, another 20 people were also wounded in the attack, and the attack was claimed by the so-called Islamic State group. The blast on Sunday evening damaged shops and buildings around the Mukhabirat Square. Now, the bombing came just hours after the Afghan president, Ashraf Ghani, inaugurated a hospital in the city, the provincial capital of Nangarhar. Now, the police have said that the suicide bomber targeted a vehicle that was carrying members of the Sikh minority community who were travelling to meet with President Ashraf Ghani. But also Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has put out a tweet in which he strongly condemned the attack. He said, and I quote, they strongly condemned the terror attack in Afghanistan yesterday. They are an attack on Afghanistan's multicultural fabric. My thoughts are with the bereaved families. I pray that the injured recover soon. India stands ready to assist Afghanistan government in this sad hour. شیدان اهل ونود مشران دی بکه چه گفتنه چه لرئیس جمهور سر ملاقات وی که کلا چه دی منطقه تر رسید که دی انتجار که پو محل واقعی که یه و دفعه گرنباش شد گرنباش شد یه و گاڑی که واکیر سایب هم ناست و مرسین کلار هم ناست و کلندار تول ناست و بس اندر تیو فرید انتجار تول آل تسکر و لارو منگا گو تا چگونه واچ راش منگ سر داونی سه یه و سوگا مختلی شد Yo, we was as a pro, we was as a guardian. I got a shot. No, yes, so I'm okay. Shelton and Tapian, our the noon last time was a show. Just a dinner of Shivi, she do became a Muslim man. Last time a pigeon del Shivi, Tsekana, Wutana, Terusa Musa Majulu Yedi, was a show. Kid Ali Hunudu, the Parliament, Yahuli Sijer Ginuman, our Tarsangam Shamil. And also, India's Foreign Minister Sushma Swaraj has also tweeted an I quote My heartfelt condolences to the families of the victims of the terror attack in Jalalabad, city of Afghanistan. We are in them, with them in this hour of tragedy. I'm meeting their relatives today at 6 p.m. in Jawaharlal Nehru Bhavan.